In this morning's Business Insight, in 2014, Cincinnati business and tourism officials officially asked a research and advisory firm how the world viewed the Cincinnati region. The Reputation Institute reported that Cincinnati did not have a bad reputation. In fact, it didn't have one at all. That same year, Source Cincinnati was formed. It's an effort to drive positive national media coverage and boost Cincinnati's reputation to bring residents, visitors, and investment to the region in the past three years. Source Cincinnati has helped spark 170 national media placements worth more than $8.5 million in paid advertising value. That kind of success has resulted in what was to be a temporary effort now becoming a permanent organization for the region. Julie Calvert is executive director of Source Cincinnati. She joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Thanks so much. Julie, thanks for being here this morning. Hey, Kelly, good to see you. This is so exciting. <laughs> uh, Julie and I go back a long ways, and I've watched you develop this mm -hmm. in conjunction with a lot of other people. Let's start with, just give us a little background so people understand the significance of this project and why it was important to undertake. So Source Cincinnati, um, has, we've been around since 2014, really 2013, the, the origins go back to that. We spent that whole year building the program, getting it funded and, and everything else goes with that. And you know, it's, it's critically important um, in terms of reputation building and driving and awareness driving for this region. And so much research has been done by many organizations um, and it's not that Cincinnati has a bad reputation, we just don't have much of a reputation. Yeah. And so therefore there's the big surprise factor when people come here and, and you know, the arts and culture are great and the, all the economic development that's happened and all just the excitement throughout the region. Um, so what we want to do is use earned media, which is, you know, working with reporters, placing stories and all sorts of publications from, you know, Forbes, Fortune, you know, Bon Appetit magazine, uh, Travel and Leisure, mm -hmm. um, to build reputation, you know, for this region. So people, when they think of Cincinnati, they think of something. So what, how have you measured the impact, or, or have you at this point? I mean, we've seen the amount of earned media that you've received, but how does that translate into economic impact for the city? Well, a, a couple of ways. Number one, um, we're a firm believer that media begets media. And before we started doing what we were doing, there was national media that, were hap that was happening on the region, but not in the quantity and not in the frequency and not the, 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 with the whole diversity of publications and media outlets that we're looking at. But in a lot of ways, we, you know, Ready Cincinnati uh, is a major partner uh, in our organization, as is the Chamber, as is the Convention Visitors Bureau. Uh, they're, they're the three primary organizations, and they tell us that leads into their organizations are beginning to grow. Mm -hmm. And, you know, John Areeder, who's the president of, of Ready Cincinnati, you know, said until we started doing what we're doing, you know, she's noticing more and more leads coming from New York City. You know, more and more leads coming from the coastal cities. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I give her and her organization all the credit in the world for that. I'm happy to be a part of what she's doing. Um, but all that stuff starts to work together. Yeah. You know, so we look at impressions year, year, year over year. Um, and if those are growing, we have, you know, targeted publications that we're looking at. Um, so it's not just all media, it's great media, but where do we strategically want to be? Mm -hmm. um, and if we're getting stories and making impacts um, in those media, that's a measure of success for us. Um, and also when we started, we worked with an organization called the Reputation Institute yeah. uh, out of New York to measure the reputation of Cincinnati, and we had some work to do <laughs> in that area. Um, and so we'll go back and, and do that research again. Um, probably late this year and early or early next year to see kind of where we're, where we're driving our numbers in that way. And it's really, you know, this is, this is P&G's town. I mean, we know about branding. We know the importance of that. Really what you've done is you're creating a brand image and reputation for the city. Is that? For the region. That's correct. For the region. Mm -hmm. For the for region. 15 county region. And you know, there's organizations that are out there every day, you know, building it in their own vertical, whether it's right. economic development, tourism. Um, you know, talent, um, but to aggregate it overall and do it for the region, there was not an effort set up to do that. In cities that have good reputations and have solid, you know, people have solid knowledge of, of what they're about, you know, you think about Nashville, you think about Austin uh, in that way, Charlotte for that matter, yeah. um, they have programs that wake up every day and act every day to drive those the reputation for, for those cities. And so, you know, as, as our city continues to grow and our region, you know, begins, you know, to, you know, more talent are, are coming in here, more investments coming, more visitors. Um, we want to just kind of push the pedal on that a little harder and accelerate yeah. that that growth region wide. Yeah. And do you think that's something that people that live here will ever fully? I mean, is it hard? Like you mentioned, the other cities, Nashville, Austin. Do people who actually live in these cities actually get it eventually? <laughs> like how great their city is? Because we, you know, that's always 
kind of been an issue here. Yeah, you know, they do. And, and, and I think that you know, that's one thing that really is beginning to change for Cincinnati. You know, for so long, our biggest critics were us. Yeah. You know, the city. Yeah. You know it's kind of like, you know, you can't call, you know, you can call your own baby <laughs> ugly, but nobody else can do that. Right. Um, but uh, with, you know, more people and more young folks coming into Cincinnati, and they're seeing that how accessible it is to get around, and you can very quickly roll up your sleeves and make a difference and right. get access to leadership and great arts and culture and civic things you can get involved in. Um, that there, there's there's really a sea change happening in terms of how we're feeling about ourselves. Yeah. And um, when media come into the town, um, you know, when when meeting planners or others come in and they see that civic pride and that civic swell, that's exciting to them. Yeah. And so I think it's happening more and more. And uh, I think that as people continue to push on that reputation and find the great things that are happening here, that will only continue to grow. Yeah. Too. Well, it's so. exciting to see. And great job to you. Congratulations. Thank on you. The position and <laughs> sticking with it and uh as always you're always welcome to come back and keep us posted on what's going on well, we'd love to we've got, we've got a lot of good things coming great thanks julie